Girlfriend was also Jewish, like pretty full chested, but now I'm dating like a pretty flat chested Italian guy. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I have a but no, seriously, I actually I am gay. It's a real thing. We're gay together. I'm gay. It's, it's new. It's all kind of new for me. It's still a big deal. I mean, not new for me, but new for my girlfriend, you know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's a, it's a new for some of her. Yeah, exactly. Um, but anyway, yeah. so I, I was in an elevator recently, uh, and this kind of this good looking guy came in the elevator, walked in the elevator, and the door is shut, and so it's just the two of us, and it was silent. And he broke the silence by saying, You smell. <laughs> it was kind of weird, so I said, Like, what? And he said, bad. So, you know, at this point, I, you know, I could tell he was flirting with me. You know? so, uh, you know, so I was like, like, good, bad, like, sexy, bad, you know. And, uh, and then he took a step away from me into the corner of the elevator. And, uh, you know, I thought he was trying my hard to get. You know? So I took a little step closer to him. And then, um, then he pushed me. And again, I'm new to this gay world of flirting. I just don't know. And so, like, I thought maybe it was like a gay push. Like, you know, I don't know, like, I'd say, like, push. Or, I don't, who knows? Yeah. I mean, so I, I pushed him back, you know? Yeah. And then he punched me in the face. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, and we've been dating ever since. Right. So congratulations. I'm so happy for you. That's really yeah. great. The pandemic, I think. Yeah, that's wonderful. Well, also during the pandemic, I was working on. I, do you guys like impressions? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I was working on impression. We don't normally do impressions, but I thought like, let's do it. Let's add it. Yeah. 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 Bill. And so I have an impression I've been working on. It's a Bernie Sanders. Of right after he's asked if he likes pastrami sandwiches. Okay. Now again, I don't. I, we don't normally do this, so I'm a little nervous. Hold on. Let me just get in the character. Into character. One second. Okay. Okay. Again, Bernie Sanders, after being asked if he likes pastrami sandwiches. Okay. Sure. <laughs> Thank you. I've been working on it for months. I think I got it. Hopefully. So thank you. Anyway, I was also, you know, a lot of time thinking. I was wondering, do you think there's a gym somewhere in the world called Jehovah's Fitness? <laughs> I'm happy you like that. Thank you. And I thought you were choking you know, at first, but you weren't, so that's good. Um, also, uh, do you guys like tennis? Are tennis fans? Yeah. We like tennis. Before COVID, we used to go to the U.S. Open all the time, and and we watched the matches. And with men's tennis, women's, we like it. But we happen to see a lot of women's matches that day. And uh, for those of you who don't know, women's tennis is basically like Serena Williams and a lot of Russian women. Okay. So like uh, Sharapova, Pliskova, uh, 
all, you know, all these, the smash of all these people. And seriously, those are real names. real names. And so we went, and we, I remember that day, it was great. We saw three women's matches. In the morning, we saw a match between Ivana Muvova and Anita Kamova. It was great. That was a great match. And then in the afternoon, we saw a doubles match. We saw the Eva sisters. Uh, never Eva and Vata Eva. Yes. And they were playing uh, uh, against Ivana Slipova and Whatever's Left Over. <laughs> yeah. That was great. And, and, yeah, no, and then at night we saw a match between Anna Tatatya and Ivana Kaminya, and it was wonderful. And it, it was really good. I'm happy they, they know them. them. They know she, 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 know she loves player. that player. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. so, um, okay. And just another 40 minutes and we're done. Yeah, exactly. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. No, we're, we're right. yeah. So anyway, um, what was I saying? Okay. Oh yeah, so speaking of our, my mother, our mother, you know, I was with her and I was with one of her old friends. Yeah. I don't know, a, a, a long-standing friend. Mm -hmm. How about that? And she's probably in her mid-60s. And I've known her since I was a little kid. So I saw her and I told her very genuinely, I said, she's probably uh, 65, as I said, and I told her, you know, you haven't aged in like 25 years. You look the same. She said, oh my God, that's so sweet of you. Thank you, what a compliment. But I thought to myself, like, I don't know if I was really giving her a compliment. <laughs> Basically, I was saying, you've looked 65 for 25 <laughs> yeah. years. Yeah. Exactly. You know, she just grew into, into that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. exactly. Yeah. Not like you, you've aged. No, no, she yeah, you're great. Age, but she looks, she looks 40. You she's look like amazing. 40. Right, yeah. or forever 35. You look gorgeous. You look gorgeous. Susie's so hot. By the way, you know, the, the, according to the photo, the way she promotes the show, you never know she's funny. You think she's just sexy. She's hysterical she and really sexy. sexy. And an amazing oh, singer. Let's let's right it. Go. So, so seriously. So, and this was before the pandemic. Um, we actually are, uh, have a great Uncle Sammy, and he turned 100 years old. Yeah, uh, Uncle Sammy, thank you. Thank you. So, thank before you. the pandemic, there was a party for him, and uh, we all uh, we all went to. It was held at his daughter's house. Uh, one's like 75. He calls them the girls. One's like 75, 78. They're pretty old girls. They're old but girls. anyway, yeah. we were at the girls' house, and so they had a lot of people over. And one of the, the relatives uh, made a toast, and he said this genuinely. He said, to another 100 years. Yeah. And I thought that was a nice thing. Like, maybe another 100 hours. You know, like, if that. Nice, whatever. So I went up to Uncle Sammy and I said, Uncle Sammy, he was like, uh, uh, yeah, like, it was disgusting, it was drooling, it was awful. Yeah, yeah. So I said, clean yourself up, it's your birthday, come on. So, so we cleaned himself up and I, I told him, I said, Uncle Sammy, I said, may you live every day as if it were your last. Yeah. And I thought that was a nice sentiment. You know, and he died the following day. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. A few days later, a few days later, we lived those days, which is good. And just speaking of our older relatives, I just got to say, you know, our, it made me think of our ancestors. And they came over from Eastern Europe by boat, and uh, they arrived in Fire Island. Well, his, his side. <laughs> But yeah. lastly, just last thing, I'm just speaking of older Jews, I just want to mention our grandmother, she passed away oh, yeah. recently. Uh, yeah, she died after a, a long battle with her cleaning lady, and it was awful. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you guys have been great. Thank you so much. Stuff. Uh, well, here, yeah, here, we just um, performed here, and, <laughs> and uh, other uh, shows this month. Uh, yeah, check, check us out on our Instagram, the Stone and Stone, Stone and Stone. And then we also have made a, a series called Going Both yes, Ways. Check out yeah. about both ways. Yeah. We go both it's ways. a great series. We don't together. We go both ways. Trust me, we straight. Or we'd love to have you in it. You'd be perfect. perfect. You're, you're the fun. You're so funny. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Cool. That's about, yeah, that's it. Any other questions? Yes. Um, yeah. um, now, you guys are both um, twins, right? Yes. Now, do you have any other siblings? No. No, it's just the two of you. We had a dog when we were younger. I see. Well, that's nice. <laughs> and, and do you guys get along? We do. Do you? We really do. Have you always and, and hung yeah. out together? No, we're really best friends, genuinely. That's and then, nice. And then, but we can't be too genuine. Supposed to be fun. Say funny, right? Yeah. You know. Well, no. Well, the other thing, which is also uh, well, the reason I knew that I wasn't gay, is because we slept together and I didn't enjoy it. <laughs> so that, I had a great time. But he loved.
walked in and I was like, this isn't for me, you know? But he gave me a chance, you know? And they... Exactly. Well, I love you guys so much. It's so we wonderful having you. you. The feelings are mutual. Thank you.